An Air Quality Index AQI is a number used by government agencies to communicate to the public how polluted the air currently is or how polluted it is forecast to become. As the AQI increases, an increasingly large percentage of the population is likely to experience increasingly severe adverse health effects. Different countries have their own air quality indices, corresponding to different national air quality standards. Some of these are the Air Quality Health Index Canada, the Air Pollution Index Malaysia, and the Pollutant Standards Index Singapore. Topic: <laughs> Definition and Usage. Computation of the AQI requires an air pollutant concentration over a specified averaging period obtained from an air monitor or model. Taken together, concentration and time represent the dose of the air pollutant. Health effects corresponding to a given dose are established by epidemiological research. Air pollutants vary in potency, and the function used to convert from air pollutant concentration to AQI varies by pollutant. Its air quality index values are typically grouped into ranges. Each range is assigned a descriptor, a color code, and a standardized public health advisory. The AQI can increase due to an increase of air emissions for example, during rush hour traffic or when there is an upwind forest fire or from a lack of dilution of air pollutants. Stagnant air, often caused by an anticyclone, temperature inversion, or low wind speeds lets air pollution remain in a local area, leading to high concentrations of pollutants, chemical reactions between air contaminants and hazy conditions. On a day when the AQI is predicted to be elevated due to fine particle pollution, an agency or public health organization might advise sensitive groups, such as the elderly, children, and those with respiratory or cardiovascular problems to avoid outdoor exertion, declare an action day to encourage voluntary measures to reduce air emissions, such as using public transportation, Recommend the use of masks to keep fine particles from entering the lungs during a period of very poor air quality, such as an air pollution episode, when the AQI indicates that acute exposure may cause significant harm to the public health. Agencies may invoke emergency plans that allow them to order major emitters such as coal burning industries to curtail emissions until the hazardous conditions abate. Most air contaminants do not have an associated AQI. Many countries monitor ground-level ozone, particulates, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide, and calculate air quality indices for these pollutants. The definition of the AQI in a particular nation reflects the discourse surrounding the development of national air quality standards in that nation. A website allowing government agencies anywhere in the world to submit their real-time air monitoring data for display using a common definition of the air quality index has recently become available. Indices by location Canada Air quality in Canada has been reported for many years with Provincial Air Quality Indices Significantly, AQI values reflect air quality management objectives, which are based on the lowest achievable emissions rate, and not exclusively concern for human health. The Air Quality Health Index or AQHI is a scale designed to help understand the impact of air quality on health. It is a health protection tool used to make decisions to reduce short-term exposure to air pollution by adjusting activity levels during increased levels of air pollution. The Air Quality Health Index also provides advice on how to improve air quality by proposing behavioral change to reduce the environmental footprint. This index pays particular attention to people who are sensitive to air pollution. It provides them with advice on how to protect their health during air quality levels associated with low, moderate, high and very high health risks. The Air Quality Health Index provides a number from 1 to 10 plus to indicate the level of health risk associated with local air quality. On occasion, when the amount of air pollution is abnormally high, the number may exceed 10. The AQHI provides a local air quality current value as well as a local air quality maximums forecast for today, tonight, and tomorrow, and provides associated health advice. Hong Kong 
On December 30, 2013 Hong Kong replaced the Air Pollution Index with a new index called the Air Quality Health Index. This index, reported by the Environmental Protection Department, is measured on a scale of 1 to 10 plus and considers four air pollutants, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide and particulate matter including PM10 and PM2.5. For any given hour the AQHI is calculated from the sum of the percentage excess risk of daily hospital admissions attributable to the three-hour moving average concentrations of these four pollutants. The AQHIs are grouped into five AQHI health risk categories with health advice provided. Each of the health risk categories has advice with it. At the low and moderate levels the public are advised that they can continue normal activities. For the high category, children, the elderly and people with heart or respiratory illnesses are advising to reduce outdoor physical exertion. Above this very high or serious, the general public are also advised to reduce or avoid outdoor physical exertion. <laughs> Mainland China China's Ministry of Environmental Protection MEP, is responsible for measuring the level of air pollution in China. As of January 1, 2013, MEP monitors daily pollution level in 163 of its major cities. The AQI level is based on the level of six atmospheric pollutants, namely sulfur dioxide SO2, nitrogen dioxide NO2, suspended particulates smaller than 10 micrometers in aerodynamic diameter PM10, suspended particulates smaller than 2.5 micrometers in aerodynamic diameter PM2.5, carbon monoxide CO, and ozone O3, measured at the monitoring stations throughout each city, AQI mechanics on individual score, individual air quality Quality index IAQI is assigned to each pollutant and the final AQI is the highest of these six scores. The final AQI value can be calculated either per hour or per 24 hours. The concentrations of pollutants can be measured quite differently. If the AQI value is calculated hourly, then SO2, NO2, CO concentrations are measured as average per 24 hours, O3 concentration is measured as average per hour and the moving average per 8H, PM2.5 and PM10 concentrations are measured as average per hour and per 24 hours. If the AQI value is calculated per 24 hours, then SO2, NO2, CO, PM2.5 and PM10 concentrations are measured as average per 24 24 hours, while O3 concentration is measured as the maximum 1H average and the maximum 24 hours moving average. The IAQI of each pollutant is calculated according to a formula published by the MEP. The score for each pollutant is non-linear, as is the final AQI score. Thus an AQI of 300 does not mean twice the pollution of AQI at 150, nor does it mean the air is twice as harmful. The concentration of a pollutant when its IAQI is 100 does not equal twice its concentration when its IAQI is 50, nor does it mean the pollutant is twice as harmful. While an AQI of 50 from day 1 to 182 and AQI of 100 from day 183 to 365 does provide an annual average of 75, it does not mean the pollution is acceptable even if the benchmark of 100 is deemed safe. Because the benchmark is a 24-hour target, and the annual average must match the annual target, it is entirely possible to have safe air every day of the year but still fail the annual pollution benchmark. AQI and Health Implications HJ 633—2012 Topic. India The National Air Quality Index AQI was launched in New Delhi on September 17, 2014 under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. The Central Pollution Control Board along with State Pollution Control Boards has been operating National Air Monitoring Program NAMP, covering 240 cities of the country having more than 342 monitoring stations. An expert group comprising medical professionals, air quality experts, academia, advocacy groups, and SPCBs was constituted and a technical study was awarded to IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur and the expert group recommended an AQI scheme in 2014. While the earlier measuring index was limited to three indicators, the new index measures eight parameters. 
The continuous monitoring systems that provide data on near real time basis are installed in New Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, and Ahmedabad. There are six AQI categories namely good, satisfactory, moderately polluted, poor, very poor, and severe. The proposed AQI will consider eight pollutants PM10, PM2.5, NO2, SO2, CO, O3, NH3, and PB for which short term up to 24 hourly averaging period national ambient air quality standards are prescribed. Based on the measured ambient concentrations, corresponding standards and likely health impact, a sub-index is calculated for each of these pollutants. The worst sub-index reflects overall AQI. Likely health impacts for different AQI categories and pollutants have also been suggested, with primary inputs from the medical experts in the group. The AQI values and corresponding ambient concentrations health breakpoints as well as associated likely health impacts for the identified eight pollutants are as follows. Mexico The air quality in Mexico City is reported in IMECAs. The IMECA is calculated using the measurements of average times of the chemicals ozone O3, sulfur dioxide SO2, nitrogen dioxide NO2, carbon monoxide CO, particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers PM2.5, and particles smaller than 10 micrometers PM10. Singapore Singapore uses the Pollutant Standards Index to report on its air quality, with details of the calculation similar but not identical to that used in Malaysia and Hong Kong. The SI chart below is grouped by index values and descriptors, according to the National Environment Agency. South Korea The Ministry of Environment of South Korea uses the Comprehensive Air Quality Index to describe the ambient air quality based on the health risks of air pollution. The index aims to help the public easily understand the air quality and protect people's health. The CHI is on a scale from 0 to 500, which is divided into six categories. The higher the CHI value, the greater the level of air pollution. Of values of the five air pollutants, the highest is the CHI value. The index also has associated health effects and a color representation of the categories as shown below. The N Seoul Tower on Namsan Mountain in central Seoul, South Korea, is illuminated in blue, from sunset to 2300 and 2200 in winter, on days where the air quality in Seoul is 45 or less. During the spring of 2012, the tower was lit up for 52 days, which is four days more than in 2011. United Kingdom The most commonly used air quality index in the UK is the Daily Air Quality Index recommended by the Committee on Medical Effects of Air Pollutants This index has 10 points, which are further grouped into four bands, low, moderate, high and very high. Each of the bands comes with advice for at-risk groups and the general population. The index is based on the concentrations of five pollutants. The index is calculated from the concentrations of the following pollutants, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, PM2.5 particles with an aerodynamic diameter less than 2.5 micrometers and PM10. The breakpoints between index values are defined for each pollutant separately and the overall index is defined as the maximum value of the index. Different averaging periods are used for different pollutants. Topic. Europe The Common Air Quality Index CAQI is an air quality index used in Europe since 2006. In November 2017, the European Environment Agency announced the European Air Quality Index EAQI and started encouraging its use on websites and for other ways of informing the public about air quality. Topic. CAQI As of 2012, the EU supported project Sateri argued that the CAQI had been evaluated on a large set of data and described the CAQI's motivation and definition. 
Sateri stated that having an air quality index that would be easy to present to the general public was a major motivation, leaving aside the more complex question of a health-based index, which would require, for example, effects of combined levels of different pollutants. The main aim of the CAQI was to have an index that would encourage wide comparison across the EU, without replacing local indices. Sateri stated that the Main goal of the CAQI is not to warn people for possible adverse health effects of poor air quality but to attract their attention to urban air pollution and its main source, traffic, and help them decrease their exposure. The CAQI is a number on a scale from 1 to 100, where a low value means good air quality and a high value means bad air quality. The index is defined in both hourly and daily versions, and separately near roads, a roadside, or traffic index or away from roads a background index as of 2012 the caqi had two mandatory components for the roadside index no2 and pm10 and three mandatory components for the background index no2 pm10 and o3 it also included optional pollutants pm2.5 co and so2 a sub index is calculated for each of the mandatory and optional if available components. The CAQI is defined as the sub-index that represents the worst quality among those components. Some of the key pollutant densities in microgram per cubic meter for the hourly background index, the corresponding sub-indices, and five CAQI ranges and verbal descriptions are as follows. Frequently updated CAQI values and maps are shown on the www.airqualitynow.eu and other websites. A separate year average common air quality index YACAQI is also defined, in which different pollutant sub-indices are separately normalized to a value typically near unity. For example, the yearly averages of NO2, PM10 and PM2.5 are divided by 40 micrograms per cubic meter, 40 micrograms per cubic meter and 20 micrograms per cubic meter, respectively. The overall background or traffic YACAQI for a city is the arithmetic mean of a defined subset of these sub-indices. United States. The United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA has developed an air quality index that is used to report air quality. This AQI is divided into six categories indicating increasing levels of health concern. An AQI value over 300 represents hazardous air quality and below 50 the air quality is good. The AQI is based on the five criteria. Pollutants regulated under the Clean Air Act, ground-level ozone, particulate matter, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. The EPA has established National Ambient Air Quality Standards NAAQS for each of these pollutants in order to protect public health. An AQI value of 100 generally corresponds to the level of the NAAQS for the pollutant. The Clean Air Act USA 1990 requires EPA to review its national ambient air quality standards every five years to reflect evolving health effects information. The Air Quality Index is adjusted periodically to reflect these changes. Topic. Computing the AQI The Air Quality Index is a piecewise linear function of the pollutant concentration. At the boundary between AQI categories, there is a discontinuous jump of one AQI unit. To convert from concentration to AQI this equation is used I equals I H I G H minus I L O W C H I G H minus C L O W C minus C L O W plus I L O W 
Display style I equals FRAC I underscore high I underscore low C underscore high C underscore low C C underscore low plus I underscore low where I display style I equals the air quality index C display style C equals the pollutant concentration C L O W Display style C underscore low equals the concentration breakpoint that is C. Display style C C H I G H display style C underscore high equals the concentration breakpoint that is C. Display style C I L O W display style I underscore low equals the index breakpoint corresponding to C L O W display style C underscore low I H I G H display style I underscore high equals the index breakpoint corresponding to C H I G H display style C underscore high EPA's table of breakpoints is suppose a monitor records a 24 hour average fine particle PM 2.5 concentration of 12.0 micrograms per cubic meter the equation above results in an AQI of 50 Minus zero twelve point zero minus zero twelve point zero minus zero plus zero equals fifty. Display style frac 50 to 0 12.0 point zero to zero twelve point zero to zero plus o equals fifty. Corresponding to air quality in the good range. To convert an air pollutant concentration to an AQI, EPA has developed a calculator. If multiple pollutants are measured at a monitoring site, then the largest or dominant AQI value is reported for the location. The ozone AQI between 100 and 300 is computed by selecting the larger of the AQI calculated with a 1-hour ozone value and the AQI computed with the 8-hour ozone value. 8-hour ozone averages do not define AQI values greater than 300. AQI values of 301 or greater are calculated with 1-hour ozone concentrations. 1-hour SO2 values do not define higher AQI values greater than 200. AQI values of 201 or greater are calculated with 24-hour SO2 concentrations. Real-time monitoring data from continuous monitors are typically available as 1-hour averages. However, computation of the AQI for some pollutants requires averaging over multiple hours of data. For example, calculation of the ozone AQI requires computation of an 8-hour average and computation of the PM2.5 or PM10 AQI requires a 24-hour average. To accurately reflect the current air quality, the multi-hour average used for the AQI computation should be centered on the current time, but as concentrations of future hours are unknown and are difficult to estimate accurately, EPA uses surrogate concentrations to estimate these multi-hour averages. For reporting the PM2.5, PM10 and ozone air quality indices, this surrogate concentration is called the nowcast. The nowcast is a particular type of weighted average that provides more weight to the most recent air quality data when air pollution levels are changing. There is a free email subscription service for New York inhabitants, Airnik. Subscribers get notification about AQI values changes for selected location e.g. home address, based on air quality conditions. Topic. Public availability of the AQI Real-time monitoring data and forecasts of air quality that are color-coded in terms of the air quality index are available from EPA's AirNow website. Historical air monitoring data including AQI charts and maps are available at EPA's AirData website. 
Detailed map about current AQI level and its two-day forecast is available from Aerostate website. History of the AQI The AQI made its debut in 1968, when the National Air Pollution Control Administration undertook an initiative to develop an air quality index and to apply the methodology to metropolitan statistical areas. The impetus was to draw public attention to the issue of air pollution and indirectly push responsible local public officials to take action to control sources of pollution and enhance air quality within their jurisdictions. Jack Fensterstock, the head of the National Inventory of Air Pollution Emissions and Control Branch, was tasked to lead the development of the methodology and to compile the air quality and emissions data necessary to test and calibrate resultant indices. The initial iteration of the Air Quality Index used standardized ambient pollutant concentrations to yield individual pollutant indices. These indices were then weighted and summed to form a single total air quality index. The overall methodology could use concentrations that are taken from ambient monitoring data or are predicted by means of a diffusion model. The concentrations were then converted into a standard statistical distribution with a preset mean and standard deviation. The resultant individual pollutant indices are assumed to be equally weighted, although values other than unity can be used. Likewise, the index can incorporate any number of pollutants although it was only used to combine SOX, CO, and TSP because of a lack of available data for other pollutants. While the methodology was designed to be robust, the practical application for all metropolitan areas proved to be inconsistent due to the paucity of ambient air quality monitoring data, lack of agreement on weighting factors, and non-uniformity of air quality standards across geographical and political boundaries. Despite these issues, the publication of lists ranking metropolitan areas achieved the public policy objectives and led to the future development of improved indices and their routine application. See also Air pollution Indoor air quality